Hey y'all, Crazy Pop here, and today, on this cold, chilly, wintry day, we're going to make us a Cajun-style shrimp and sausage, kind of a skillet dinner, right here on the Blackstone. Super simple, it's going to be really easy, throw a bunch of stuff together, we're going to have a delicious meal in just a little while, I promise you. But before we get started, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you with us here at the Crazy Acres. Let us know down there in the comments you're new. Throw your big old welcome out there. And if you don't mind, ring that bell notification so you know every time we upload, you get a notification about it and you see some more great content just like this. If you've been here, we would love to say thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you. But I can't other than thank you. I really do appreciate everything you've been doing, the likes, the watching, the comments. Everything has really helped to really grow this channel to what it is today. And hey, I'm really looking forward to what 2022 brings. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if you are looking for any of the great content that we may be doing or have or whatever, look down in the description. There's a link tree link down there. Click on that. It'll take you to all the other links that we have, our TikToks, our Facebooks, our other YouTube channel, Hanging with the Crazy Crew. You can check out all the fun we've been having going places. Uh, it even has you know, our Pinterest, our Amazon, our Walmart. All that good stuff is down there in that description. So be sure to go check that out if you want to. I really would appreciate it. Would love to have you on our other platforms. Would love to see you there too. So now, enough rambling. Let's fire this thing up. Let's show you some groceries. Well, you can't cook nothing on a cold griddle. So let's fire this bad boy up. I'm going to go all three burners. Well, all three are off. There's four, but I'm only going to go three because I'm going to leave a cooler zone just in case we need to move stuff over. But I'm going to go down to right above low right above low now here are the amazing groceries what i have before your very eyes two pounds of large peeled devein tailed everything off ready to cook shrimp we have uh some cajun style andouille sauce in case you're wondering what type i have i did say the packaging just so you know that's two 12 ounce packages we cut up uh we got it from walmart it does say sam's choice so i'm guessing you can get that from sam's club also but that's what we're going to use for our sausage. We have a red, yellow, orange, and green bell pepper sliced up. We have one medium onion uh, sliced up. I have three medium, I guess you say, sized roasted potatoes I have diced up. And we have some parsley that I have just roughly chopped. And y'all, we're going to season this stuff with some Bayou Blend. I really haven't used this on anything yet. I have kind of tried it, you know, see how it's going to taste. And I think it's going to be really, really good on this dish here. So that's what we're going to go with today. All right, I'm seeing some smoke off this griddle. And we're going to try to get through this cook because it is really windy today. It done blew my tripods over, well, two or three times already. So we're going to try to get this going. But either way, this griddle's ready. So let's put some groceries on the griddle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off a little bit of oil right here. We're going to dump our taters on. Now let's mix up our taters in that oil. Get a good coating on them. Spread them out just a minute. Now, we're we'll letting them taters cook for just a little while because they're going to take longer to cook. So we're going to throw them on first, give them a head start, and then we're going to start putting some other stuff together. And now normally I would go ahead and season the potatoes while they're cooking, but we're going to save that seasoning for just a little bit. Let's give them a stir again, y'all. So what I want to do with these taters, I don't want to fry them too much. I want to soften them up. So what I'm going to do is just put them in a big old pile like this. Going to grab me a dome and some water. Kind of get them all under here. Just kind of steam them up. Now that steam is going to help kind of fast forward the cooking, if you will. And kind of soften them up just a little bit. 
Taters been going, I don't know, five minutes. Let's give them a stir check on them. You do want to keep them stirred up. Just kind of keep them cooking down. Yeah, they got a ways to go yet. But that's okay. That's okay. So what we'll do is dump them back up. Let's go ahead and get our peppers and our onions on here. Add just a little bit of oil to them. Give them a good stir. Mix them all together. Now all we're really looking to do is just kind of soften these up, bring the sweetness out in the onions, kind of soften them peppers on down just a little bit. The smell of peppers and onions on this Blackstone is just always so amazing. Now keep the taters stirred up that way and the, the bottom ones don't get done a lot faster than the top ones. So make sure you stir them up every, I don't know, three to four to five minutes or whatever. Just keep a check on them. Oh yeah, they're cooking down pretty good, y'all. Oh yeah, doing good, doing good. Not ready yet though, not ready yet. So we'll dump them back up. Stir these peppers and onions. Well, things are looking good, y'all, looking good. It's a little cool and windy out here, gotta give me some coffee. Stir them peppers and onions up some more. Looking good. Smelling even better. Check these taters, y'all. Oh yeah, they getting there. Getting there quick. So, Taters ain't completely done, but that's okay. They're gonna finish cooking as we continue to cook, as we mix everything together. So they don't have to be completely done before you throw your other stuff on. So let's go ahead and move them over to the side. Kind of let them finish in the warm zone. And then we're gonna throw some more stuff on it. Let's get our taters over here, y'all, against the side. Let's move our dome. Give these a stir. Oh, gonna be some good eating here in a little bit, y'all. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's get our sausage on the griddle. Put down a little bit of oil. Dump it all on there. Oh, Ooh, now these sausages they are smelling good. Man, I'm gonna tell you, I have smelled some good things on this griddle. But these peppers and onions, this Cajun style and Louis sausage, and these taters back here, wow. All I can say is wow, the smell is amazing. Now the shrimp really won't take long at all to cook. So once the sausage is getting close, we're gonna mix it all together, throw that shrimp in there, add some seasoning, and cook it all down and get it ready. Let's give our sausage a stir, y'all. This sausage, 
I've never cooked andouille sausage. I've never tried andouille sausage. It's my very first time ever even cooking it or trying it or anything. I'm gonna tell you, the smell is amazing. I can't get over the smell, y'all. Throw all that up, spread it back out. Oh yeah, taters are doing good back here in the corner. Stir these up a little bit. Oh yeah, they're getting nice and soft and where I want them. That's almost perfect for a good sausage dog right there. Get nice and soft. Almost where we exactly where we want them. It's getting close to being done, y'all. Looking good. I tell you what, let's get our peppers and onions over here just a little bit. Let's start our sausages back here just a little bit. Because it's pretty much done. All right, y'all, let's put our shrimp on. A little more oil. Don't need much because our sausages right there. And get every last shrimp down in there. Give it a good stir. This shrimp really does not take long at all to cook, y'all. Spread it out for just a second and let it cook. Got them taters over here. Shrimp's going. Sausage is almost done. Some peppers and onions. Oh, this is gonna be really, really good, y'all. Stir our shrimp one more time and we gonna mix everything together. Oh yeah, shrimp's turning good and pink, like we want it. Let's go ahead and mix it all together. Bring our taters over. Sausage, the peppers. Get it all mixed up here. Man, look at this right here, y'all. Look at this, look at this. Spread it out. Let's hit it with the good stuff. Throw some seasoning all over this thing. Now, I honestly don't know how much I'm gonna use, how much it needs. I really don't. Ooh, now that really does smell good. Let's mix it up. Give everything a good mix. Now from here, let's just spread it out and let it cook just a little bit. Now this griddle looks amazing. Y'all need to see this up close. Man, this is gonna be so good on such a cold wintry day. Yeah, can't wait to dig into it. All right, now from here, I'm gonna try a piece of shrimp, see if it needs more seasoning, and we'll go from there. I think I'll try this piece right here. Hmm, it's good, it really is. But I think a little more seasoning wouldn't hurt it none. Let's just throw some more down here. Give it a good stir. I think I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the mixture, y'all. Just kind of help it out. There we go. That's, that's a lot better right there. Make sure it's all mixed up good. And 
to spread it back out. If this tastes half as good as it smells, this is going to be really, really good. Okay, it's been going for another minute or two. Let me try another piece of shrimp, see if it tastes right, and we'll see if we can take it up. Try this shrimp right here. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's perfect. That is perfect. These taters, taters are tender. Peppers are good and tender. Onions are cooked down. It's time to take this up, y'all. So grab your big old plate and start putting it on it. Maybe I needed a bigger plate. I got it all on there. There's only one more thing left to do, and we're going to be eating. Let's put that parsley on here. Man, that looks so good. I'm going to take it now, just kind of sprinkle just a little bit of parsley on it. Add a little color and add just a little hint of more flavor to it. Oh, yeah. Looking really good now. Y'all, look at this right here. Still steaming, too. Look at that. Man. This is going to be delicious. At least I hope it is anyhow. This came together pretty quick and it smells amazing. It looks amazing for the smell. I got to try this out, y'all, along with that sausage. Huh, fun. Wow. That sausage. Mm -hmm. I got to put this down. That is good. That is amazing. That andouille sausage has a taste unlike any sausage I've ever tried. It is really, really good. I'm gonna try that on a lot of other recipes. You're gonna see that a lot more coming up soon, I promise you. But with that shrimp, the potatoes, and these onions and peppers, the bayou blend mixed with that andouille sauce, man, you wanna talk about good? This is delicious. I said I'm gonna get the other kids and stuff out here to eat it. They ain't getting none. This whole plate's mine. I'll have lunch for the whole week. You hear me? This is delicious. Y'all need to give this a try. Super easy to put together, as you've seen. Didn't take long for it to cook. It really didn't. Uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes at the most. So this will be a great weeknight meal. Be a great weekend meal. And like I said, make it up. Prep for lunch all week. It's great for a lot of things. Right now, it's going to be great in a bowl. I'm going to try it out. So, before we go, if you already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you here. Also, there's a join button down below. If you're still around, you feel like being, becoming a member here of the channel, get a few extra little perks along the way, click that join button. We've got a couple tiers in there. We'd love to have you as a member. So, with that being said, i got to go bowl this up and eat me some lunch, and we'll see you next time.